Welcome to Planet RVN with Jane RVN and here's some more OSCE tips. Make sure you carry out your first steps, turn your oxygen cylinder on and don't forget your in-use label on the appropriate cylinder. And then you can see I have a reading here so I can say that would be enough for my procedure. Put down my key. And you will find that these always work better left to right because your oxygen is always coming in this side and then tends to be coming out the other side or at the front. So that is working. My bobbin, bobbin is spinning as I can see the dot. And if you're setting it, remember, for a bobbin, it's to set it to the top of the bobbin. And if it's a ball, which is very old fashioned, it's to the middle of the ball, so the ball like that. The dot is purely so you can see if it's spinning because sometimes it's not always very clear. Then we will go here. This is our gas. This one is isoflurane but you could get other types. Push in, check to five, background. It works smoothly. And check here is once we have checked this we want to look and see how much isoflurane we've got. In your exam centre this will be always empty because it's highly unlikely you'll be in an exam centre that has a licence to use gaseous anaesthetic. And so you say what you see. Don't pretend and don't say, oh, it looks half full. It will be empty. Say, it's empty. And then say what you would do. Because if you went into practice and it was empty, like it sometimes is, you would fill it up before the next procedure because you're telling the examiner what you would do. So you've confirmed any checks the oxygen is on and you have a reading that is enough for your procedure. This works top to bottom. This works fully round, so both of them work to their maximum capacity. This is empty and you would fill it up. Oxygen flush is usually located very close to your oxygen outflow or sometimes it can be very randomly located up here. But this one's here. This is something that you can ask the examiner because you could say, where is my emergency flush? Because that is... Um, that's a standard piece of equipment, that's not you asking for specialist knowledge because you know what it is. So I'll press it. Don't forget your final steps. Select the scavenging tubing, connect the circuit to the passage scavenging and make sure passive scavenging is below the level of the patient, ideally on the floor. There's five steps to success for this part of the test. Turn on your oxygen and place the in use sign. Check your O2 flow meter, check your anaesthetic agent vaporizer and state what to do with the level of the agent, check your emergency flush works and attach your circuit to the scavenging system. Thanks for watching. Join me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and janerbn.com for more.